Hey guys, Bruce from Jenner Custom Toys coming at you. Um, you can tell by the title of this video, I'm not happy tonight. Um, I'm an easygoing guy. I uh, usually don't complain. I don't get on here and do rants. Um, I definitely don't pick on other people. I don't pick on other YouTubers. I don't pick on other craftsmen. I don't pick on other eBayers. But I've been going through something the past couple days, and the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to get on here and talk and even vent a little bit. So uh, I want to tell you something that's happening to me right now. Uh, everybody calls it Evil Bay and they get mad at the sellers. Well, I've been doing this on eBay for about four years now. Uh, started out as a small hobby and it really took off for me about two years ago making uh, my custom uh, action figures, my, my uh, custom replacement parts, uh, play sets, uh, different things that I create. And uh, thank, I'm thankful to every one of my customers that have been participating in this over the past four years. I'm especially thankful for a couple YouTubers who have really, really helped me out over the past two years. Um, it's really been able to help me get through this COVID thing and my family. I'm very grateful for that. However, um, everybody has their limit. And I'm at a point right now where I have to vent. And I hope some other fellow YouTubers, or other, maybe YouTubers too, but I'm talking about eBay. I'm hoping a few other eBay sellers we hear this and uh, maybe learn something from it. So with that said, uh, I'm going to vent for a little bit and uh, I hope you're still listening. Um, I tend to see to be long winded. I understand that, but this is important. I got a story to tell you about an eBay buyer. Um, everybody says the sellers are evil. I always keep my prices reasonable. Um, you know, I'm always willing to work with people. Um, over the past four years, I've had returns come in. Everybody has returns come in. You know, someone's not happy with what they got, you know, and, you know, uh, the email you say, well, I got this, it doesn't fit, or it broke during shipping, or, you know, whatever the reason is, um, I have always been more than willing to work with the customer to make them happy. Um, a lot of my items are under $20, $20 and under. So it's not a lot of wiggle room to work with for money. So if you're doing this for the money, then you're probably in the wrong uh, thing. Uh, the particular item I'm going to talk about today is... This is an Imperial Troop Transporter from 1979 Kenner. Now, I make replacement parts for this. Um, you know, a lot of people have ones that are broken. They, they, I make this little gun here. I make specifically this radar dish right here, if you can see it. I don't have my other camera up, but I'd show you. And a battery compartment, I make that. And these Stormtroopers I make. And I have them on eBay as replacement parts. They're not meant to be repro. I don't do repro. Anything you buy from me and put on one of your ships is going to be obviously it's going to fit it's going to be functional and it's going to look good but it's not going to be accurate 100 percent to the original so with that said um this is the radar dish i just want to show you real close up what it looks like i don't know how well this but it looks like a chair but it's right here and when you turn it it turns the wheels uh, if you look at the back i uh, don't know how well it's coming out uh the back is hollow this is an original by the way the back is actually hollow. Um, it is it is what it is. With that said, I have that on eBay. Now, I'm going to split screen right now, and I'm going to tell you a story about a... I'm just going to call him a crazy person. I, I don't have any other thing to call him. I'm going to call him a crazy person. I'm going to... This isn't even resolved yet, so it's just, let's not get out of ourselves. I want to show you my eBay ad, and we're going to try to do this split screen... I'm not very good at this. Okay, there's my eBay ad. I'm going to put me over here so you can see me. I'm looking at it right here, so when I look away, that's what. And as you can see, uh, Kenner Star Wars Imperial Troop Transport Part Radar Dish Repro. Uh, here's a picture of it. And if you look, I don't know, you, oh, you can't see my cursor. I wish you could because the arrow would uh, help out. As you can see, if you look at the legs of it, a little ragged around the edges. It's not perfect. It is close. It looks good when you finally put it on a transporter. I'm only asking 10 bucks for it. I've been selling these for over two years. And I get orders from them. I've only had one or two come back. Somebody that got smashed in the mail and he emailed me. He's like, hey, you know, I got this in the mail. It looks good, but, you know, the leg the leg broke off. Uh, a couple of people broke their legs off putting it on. Um, and they send, me, they send me a message. And I'm like, all right, I sent him another one. Or one person wanted his money back. No problem. You know, it is what it is. Things happen. Sorry you're not happy. That's my attitude. I'm not out to rip anybody off. And I'm sorry, $10. It's 10 bucks. It's not going to kill me. You know, do the right thing. 
I always do. All they have to do is ask. They want to file for a return? That's fine too. I'll still say, I'm sorry you're not happy with it. Da, 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 da. Make them happy. Send them another one. Send them the money back. I'm cool with it. You know, things happen. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So with that said, guy last week orders one of these. Um, he's not a re not someone I've sold to before. So I have a lot of repeat customers. I have I have people all over the world. I've got stuff in Australia. I've got stuff in Germany, the UK, Canada, all over the place. And overall, they're mostly happy with what I'm doing. Um, look, look, I'm just a guy in a basement who has an incredible hobby and loves doing this. That's why I do it. Now, something like this, something like this would cost like an actual piece from a true toy like this anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars. That's why I do it. It's like here's a replacement. It's not perfect, but it'll look good if you're just gonna put it on a display or even have your kids play with it. That's that's where I'm coming from with the stuff I'm doing. So okay, the guy orders it and I send it out. Just business as usual, whatever. Send it out and then I get it gets delivered and I get this email and message very first very first time I've heard from this guy uh, there it is um, see if I make it a little bigger so you can see it okay I'm just gonna read it real quick for you um, I can still make it bigger for your screen like I said I'm new to doing the split screen thing and working with this so we're gonna do it like this all right, that should be, this is the very first message I got from the guy. So, and normally if something's wrong, I'm like, hey, you know, I got this in the mail today. It's da 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 Is there something we can do about this? I'm not happy. You know, those don't bother me. This. Yeah, this. Okay, now we're, I'm reading it. Okay, now, where to start? And bear in mind, I'm trying not to put, I'm trying to put this as nicely as possible. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. This thing that you have obviously created from what I can only assume was a bar of soap mold that was poorly hand carved and or dug out or it had to have been the roughest mold cast imaginable as horribly inaccurate and lacking in quality as a plastic material of rendition of this Star Wars toys radar dish example. I can't even wrap my mind around it. Now, I'm a big vocabulary snob to begin with so as soon as I read that I'm like, ah, oh, we got a dick. Yeah. But I continued to read because it really wasn't that bad. All he had to do was say, look, I'm not happy with what I got. Continuing. It snapped in half upon trying to simply put it on my post of the troop transporter because its leg posts were so inaccurate it wouldn't fit that I broke, I broke, it broke trying to just put it on. All right, that tells me the guy got it. It is a little teeny tiny piece of plastic. He probably broke it while putting it on. It happens. At this point, if he would have sent me a message saying it broke when I put on, what can we do about it? I'd have just sent him a new one or given his money back. No harm, no foul. This is just the beginning. Continuing. Where am I? Also, the back is utterly hollowed out completely. LOL. On that particular piece, it is hollowed out completely. That's the way it is. I guess he thought it was solid, which means he doesn't know what he wanted in the first place. But the piece is right here, and it is hollowed out right here, and that's what he's talking about. Now, granted, it is not a perfect cast. I won't sell a perfect cast, and I make that clear to everybody. That's fine, too. Still would have sent him his money back because you're not happy. But this is still just the beginning. And its little legs or molded parts are so off and not made to any degree of valid duplication or craft is almost completely unusable and, most importantly, not only worth, not worth $15. I'd argue not even worth $0.25. Cents. Okay, first of all, the price was $10.00. And they are spot on. The legs have to be spot on to fit. I check each and every one. Still, I would have sent him another one or his money back at this point. Uh, he goes on and on. Did I pay you over $15 for this? No, you paid me $10 for it. No, I did not. And I would never because this is not a repro radar dish for the Imperial Troop Transporter for the 1979 Kenner Star Wars toy. Uh, yes, it is. Here is my original right here. That is what I molded. Still... Still, I wasn't very angry. I'm just like, okay, this guy's a dick, you know, going to give him what he wants. Still thinking this in my head as I'm reading. Where am I? Oh, okay. I knew I was going to do that. Let's get me back where I was here. Do, 
food to do because I want you guys to read this too. So I'm trying to make it as big as possible. I used the wheel on the mouse and clicked to the next picture. And yes, there's and there's uh, there's plenty of messages to read. Okay, uh, it's not worth it. Don't even argue. It's not even made of black plastic, but cheap white plastic and poorly painted at that. The description says it's made of resin and hand painted. It says right big letters in the description. Uh, it's terribly failed attempt at trying to create one or AKA it's garbage. So where is my radar dish at? Seriously, either send me a fully accurate piece or you can refund my money back in full, but pick one before I contact eBay and report you for fraudulent advertising and easily show them the irrefutable evidence with many high resolution, very close up photographs of exactly that. But you choose. You can either give me one that is dead on accurate and proper as it should be made of quality black plastic and in mint condition, or you can give me all of my money back. But you have 24 hours, 24 hours, and no more to do one of these two before I choose for you. Your 24 hours begins right now as it is 713 Eastern Standard Time. Now, I live in Eastern Standard Time, so 713. Remember that. It is 713 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here now. So, tick tock. And uh, let's get down to this last line as soon as this thing goes away. As a heart attack is sincere. And then he has a really long freaking name, the third. So, I blocked out the name because I'm not trying to end up in court over this just yet. But if, if you're going to see why later in the video. So, for the, for the duration of this video, we're going to call him Thurston Howell the third. Got that? He's from now on Thurston Howell the third. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting mad just reading it back to you guys. Seriously. And this happened. Now, I, I remember I said 7.13 Eastern PM time, Eastern Standard Time, excuse me. And uh, he said, I have 24 hours. Now, I want you to look up here. Uh, I guess, oh, there, there's my cursor. If you can see my cursor. Sent May 5th, 2021, 1614. Now, that is 414 p.m. And he's saying it's 713 p.m. Now, this guy's from Cincinnati, so this had to have been Pacific Standard Time. And it's only a couple hours difference, which doesn't really matter for the story. But I want you to see the date, May 5th. That was two days ago. I think today's the 7th. Let me double check because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah, today's May 7th. This email went out at about 7.14 on May 5th, Eastern Standard Time, which both me and him are in. Now, at on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, at 7.30, I wasn't here. I was out being a human. It's after 5 o'clock. I don't have to work on my shop. I don't have to answer emails. I didn't get this till I came home. At about 11 o'clock that night and that was early so okay fine I read it I got a little enraged and I learned a long time ago when I'm starting to lose my temper that I back away from it calm down gather my thoughts so I can answer intelligently in the reply now uh, I was get, going to do that the following day I had 24 hours that would be till 7 13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 6th, which was last night. So I'm like, I'm just going to go to bed and sleep on it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It set off my anxiety, which I know that's my problem, but still, who does this? All he had to do was say, hey, I got a problem with this, da, 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 whatever he's not happy about. Be nice. Be polite. Be respectful. And immediately, I would have taken care of it. I would have said, well, I probably, this case, if he's that picky, I probably would have just said, I'm sorry you're not happy with it. How about we just, I just send your money back and, you know, we call it quits. That's what I originally would have done. And that's what I was thinking, you know, and I sat there and now, now by now it's around midnight. I'm down in my basement relaxing. I, I think I did a Carl video that night. I don't know. I did something. So I go to bed and uh, my dog was sick that night and he was crying at the door. So I get up about two o'clock to let him out because he swallowed a pork bone. And um, he's outside and I'm sitting downstairs in uh, my living room clicking on TV, waiting for dog to do his business. My phone goes off. It's another eBay message. And that's what we're going to read right now. Now, this one, remember I told you about the Eastern Standard Time and the California, the Pacific Standard Time, which is what these emails are being dated as? Okay, so May 5th, same day, 
2313. Now that's 1113 uh, Pacific Standard Time to be 213 here in Pennsylvania and Cincinnati where he's from. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm trying to make it bigger so y'all can see it. See, I blocked his name out again, but just so you can see right here, May 5th, 20, and I did reply to this after I calmed down, but we're not there yet. May 5th, 2021, 2313, right up there, which, like I said, that's California, uh, where eBay lives, and this guy's from Cincinnati, so it was 213 in the evening, which it really doesn't matter because the principal's still going to be here. In fact, you know what? I'm taking a short break. And you're going to see a clip here because I am going to go calm down because I'm starting to lose my shit right now. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, you won't know the difference. I could have just cut it. But we're going to pause here. And I'll be right back and we're going to go over this one. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, need to take a break. Um, so, yeah, seven hours later, I'm sitting there waiting for my dog to do what he had to do because he wasn't feeling good. And um, my eBay message thing goes off. And as you can see up here, um, I hadn't answered him yet because I got angry when I saw the person and I let, wanted to let myself calm down until the next day. In the morning, I was going to take care of it, which is still within his 24-hour limit. So, yeah. So, I, I then, like I said, 2.15, this thing goes off. And I, I click on it and I open it because I'm a douchebag and I'm OCD. And if my, I can't stand having alerts on my phone if I don't know what they are. So, here's what I get. And once again, I had to block out his name. Ignoring me, LOL, really, I said I want a damn refund, and I meant right now. Now, keep in mind, this is seven hours after his original post, or message. If you don't give me back every penny of my money for this little garbage scam, $10. $10. Which I would have given him back in the first place. If you don't give me back every penny of my money for this literal garbage scam, I'm opening a case versus you and letting eBay truly witness your fraudulent ripoff garbage firsthand. I've got a ton of feedback on this particular product that says it's not garbage. It's This is a guy having a temper tantrum over $10 that I would have given back to him if he was nice to me. The Radar Dish Repro is total junky trash and worthless. All caps, because now I'm, I'm supposed to think he's yelling at me. Give me my money back or I'll have eBay make you do it for you. This is a total ripoff, and if you know it, and you know it is. And when I say now, I really do mean right friggin' now. Sounds like a child. It, it really does. A child that, like, has somewhat of a vocabulary. And when I say now, I really mean friggin' now. Also, I, oh, this, this is what pissed me off. This is across the line. And when I say now, I really mean now freaking out. I also have your little, literal, I have, I sound like junk man now. <sighs> I'm kidding, junk man. Your videos are better than mine and I know it, but it is funny. I, I got that Pennsylvania Yinzer accent. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't have said anything about junk man. I love junk man. I also have your literal address and real name too. Well, that's no secret because, you know, I'm running a business. I have a YouTube channel. And my address is out there. Um, you know, whatever. A uh, little address and real name. Too. Real name. Uh, yeah, I'm not using a fake name, which I kind of feel this guy might have been. I researched it. It's kind of on the fence about that. But, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Little address and real name, too. And if you push me, I'll just handle you up close and personally. Do you understand me, Bruce? Bring it on, motherfucker. You poke the bear, <laughs> you're going to get fucked. But yeah, who does it? Who? I'm going to threaten you on the internet to come to your house. Come to my house, man. Come to my house. I fucking double dog dare you. I am not playing. You want to threaten my family? You want to threaten my house? You want to threaten me? Go for it. Go for it. Now I'm pissed off reading this. I'm pissed off right now. Handle me up close and personal. Okay. I'll be your huckleberry. You're in for a motherfucking surprise, I'll tell you that. And then it says my address, which I probably should have blocked that out too, but it's honestly no fucking secret. All my customers have my address. Surprised you didn't put my phone number up there too. It's public too. And I'm not going away either, Brucey boy. Not until I get my money back. 
$10. $10, which I would have gladly given it back to him if he was just nice in the first email. And that's what I was thinking at the time I was reading this, between having white knuckles ready to punch somebody. By the way, you now have less than 15 hours left to do the right thing, or I'm just coming at you. And I do mean sideways, Mr. Jennings. My money refund, own caps again, my money refunded back in full right now. This is seven hours after the first email that pissed me off so much that I decided to wait until the following morning to answer so I could be civil or try to be civil, which I was willing to do until I read that. You're going to threaten my house? You're going to threaten me? Over $10? You must really need that $10, dude. Must really need that $10. So, after reading that, taking care of my dog, I try to go back to bed. You know, PTSD, anxiety, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I thought about driving out to Cincinnati because, of course, I have his address, too. Of course, I have his address. I started Googling to figure out where the guy's from. I found his address. What he doesn't know? I used to live in Cincinnati. He doesn't know that. I lived in Cincinnati. I lived in Ross, Ohio. I lived in Hamilton, Ohio. I knew Cincinnati very well. Saw where his address was. My brother-in-law and my two nieces live out in that area. I can very easily just go pay a, pay a visit. Am I going to? No, because I'm a grown-ass man. But you can't blame me for thinking about it. Just think if I showed up on his doorstep. But I'm a grown-ass man. I won't do that. So, obviously, I'm pissed off at this point after reading this at 2.13 in the morning, seven hours after he wrote the first one. Haven't responded to anything yet. And after reading this, I definitely wasn't going to because I've got a temper. I'm German-Irish. I've got a temper. I've also learned over the years to keep that temper to myself and to have calm down time. So, I'm definitely trying to have cool down time. Didn't sleep at all that night. Anyway. So fine. I wake up the next morning and let's see where we're at. Oh, I wake up the next morning and I managed to get a couple hours of sleep and my eBay goes off and he had filed for a return request. That's fine. I, I was going to go ahead and click, uh, yeah, just go ahead and just get rid of this guy because after having a nice sleep, I calmed down. I'm like, this guy's not worth it. I'm not going to deal with it. I was going to just like, go ahead, just return his money. I wasn't even going to ask for the piece back because I just don't want to deal with him. Not that I'm afraid because I'm not. I'm not afraid. But this, this stuff's child, childishness. But after I saw that, and I saw there was another email from him. And I probably, and this was uh, May 6th, uh, 1025. He's still at the minus of three hours. So this actually came in at 8, 825? 10, 9, 8, 7, 725. This had come in. And let me blow it up for you. Now, this is May 6th, still under the 24-hour limit that he gave me in his first email. You guys aren't used to seeing me all fired up, are you? Okay, like I said, there's the date up there, May 6th, 2020. Oh, that's when I replied, I'm sorry. Uh, sent May 6th, 20, uh, 2021, 1025. It's actually uh, 725. Even if it's not 725, well, it was, if it's, this was sent at 725 Eastern Standard Time. Like I said, eBay goes by Pacific Standard Time. Still doesn't matter. Still within my 24 hours, right? So I get this from this dickhead. And now, and this is after he filed for the return request, which I almost just clicked on it and said, okay, whatever, here's your money back, dude. You know, I had calmed down. I'm like, I'm bigger than this. And can you see that? Yeah. And now you will be giving me my money back in full, Bruce. I told you, LOL. Did you really believe that ignoring me would make me would make me or this just go away? I wasn't worried about it, dude. I was going to deal with it in the morning with hopefully like a email to try to bury the hatchet and figure it out. My God, you're that stupid, are you? Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm dumb as fuck. That's why all my shit's paid for. I got a house and cars education, and I'm semi-retired because I'm fucking stupid. Ha, 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 ha. All right, you know, it didn't really piss me off, but that made me think, all right, you already filed your return request. I got a few days to okay it, 
Like I said, I was going to okay it right then and there. And maybe this, maybe this is me being a little, little devilish or whatever. But I'm like, all right, well, it said I had till May May 11th to make my decision or whatever. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to make him wait till May 11th for his ten dollars. Ten dollars. That still cracks me up. Now, before I woke up, remember I said I was up all night because I couldn't sleep. I was actually googling this son of a bitch, and I found him. I found him on Instagram, and I found out where he works. And, of course, when I saw it, I thought it was bullshit. He's supposed to be some kind of astrophysics expert in NASA. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, if you go on my Facebook, you see my my employment. I think it said none of your damn business or something like that. No one knows what I used to do in my lifetime. I've done so many things. I've got a few degrees under my belt, too, so I'm not stupid. I researched a little bit further, and uh, I got a whole list of the people he works with. It actually is a legit thing. He actually does work for NASA. Okay. Ten dollars and attitude. I understand the attitude now because you know super nerds have no social skills whatsoever. Guys like this, this I keep pointing the wrong way. I'm not used to this. But okay, fine. You know this still doesn't bother me. I don't care. You know, um, but I'm going to make him wait. He's all you know. He, he's threatening my house, threatening me. You know, I'm not going to go after him. I mean, of course I think about it. Am I going to? No, I'm not going to. I got a polo shirt on tonight. Y'all never see me in polo shirts. See, I clean up pretty good. So anyway, that was this email. So I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. I don't want to deal with this. Um, I let it slide. I let it slide. I'm like, all right, you know, I already know. I, either way, I was going to give him his refund. Ten dollars. Um, oh, this is whenever. Okay, this is a reply. This is whenever I finally start. I did. I did reply to the first couple emails I just showed you. Um, I, re I replied to the first one. I said, so much for the 24 hours I saw your other messages. And then the one where he threatened me, I said, I don't remember exactly what I put. I'm like, dude, you just totally threatened me, my family, my house. And uh, I'm reporting this to eBay. I'm done with you. And uh, I don't remember what I replied to this one. I, it, it was nothing incriminating like that. I'm, I think I just said, hmm, H-M-M-M -M -M, and let it go. But um, I did report the, all three of them to eBay uh, electronically on the board. And uh, that was yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. Yesterday is whenever I first reported them. And I'm like, all right, just let them deal with it. I'm going to wait till May 11th. Click on the refund button just to annoy them. And, you know, be done with it. And that was it as far as I was concerned. I wasn't going to worry about it. I refused to let myself stress over it. So uh, today, are we into today? Yeah, we're into today. Um, keep in mind, I had I had uh, already reported electronically to eBay yesterday. I get this one, which is I don't know what this is from. Blow it back up again. As you can see, it's from May seventh, twenty one, fifteen thirty nine minus your three hours, fourteen thirteen twelve. No, uh, I can't count. 15 minus 3 is 12. 15, 14, 13, 12. Yeah, 12. So it would be 1230. 1230 this morning. Uh, let me get this blown up to read it to you. And honestly, uh, I didn't read this whole thing at first. This is at this point. I'll tell you what I did after I read it. Try and keep it in chronological order. Oh, that's volume. Where is my Zoom? There we go. Like I said, bear with me. This is new to me. Okay. Now, this is after I had replied to him and, you know, told him about threatening my family and threatening my house and, you know, making a big deal over $10, which if you, and I, I did say if he was nicer to me, it would have been taken care of right then and then. You know, learn some manners. I think I, I, think I might have said that. His response, tell me something, Bruce, what choice did you give me? I mean, what other choice than you ripping me off and sending me this piece of worthless shit, which you did, versus me getting my money back, did you leave me? There's a lot of choices to, uh, as opposed to threatening someone's family and house. By the way, that's here. Now, keep in mind, remember whenever the 24-hour thing was? That was 7.30 on the 5th. And I had co co talked to him on the 6th before the 24 hours was up. His rules, not mine. By the way, that 24 hours was days and days ago. Now, this is today's email. The 24 hours started... 
and today is uh, uh, today is the is the seventh, May seventh. Just had to make sure. The twenty-four hours start at seven thirty-four, EST. His words on the fifth, so it would have been over last night at seven thirty-four p.m. That's not days and days ago. Plus, I had talked to him or I had messaged him in response since then. By the way, that twenty-four hours was days and days ago. Idiot. I'm, I could tell time. I guess he can't. And against, uh, and I really, I thought about like just dissecting this guy's grammar and sentence structure. Yeah, NASA, probably not. Idiot. I'm an idiot. So, you are far from a rocket scientist. Hell, oh yeah. I told him. I said it doesn't take a rocket scientist, and I put it in quotes to test to see if he was really what he said he was, which that's why I'm not sure anymore. Uh, so you are far from a rocket scientist. Hell, you're far from pond scum. As far as I'm concerned, and you just go right on ahead and knock yourself out by telling Pennsylvania State Police on me, okay, little baby. Um, I'm reading it the way he wrote it. And, you know, I don't think his keyboard has punctuation, or maybe he lacks the intelligence to use it, or maybe he doesn't know what a run-on sentence is, which is English 101. So, yeah, I did notify the Ohio State Police because, uh, like I said, I used to live in Cincinnati, and I actually know a lot of cops over there. Um, I have cousins that are cops. I have my, hell, my brother-in-law's a cop. And uh, it's just, a, you know, you got to put that on record. Okay, uh, State Police, okay, little baby Brucey. So I'm baby Brucey now. And you, t and you tell them that, and this is still one sentence, still one sentence. I kind of want to start it over, but you guys don't have all night. And you tell them that I told you to tell them that I'm going to make an example out of your ass, and it will be my pleasure to do so because you deserve it, and anytime somebody rips somebody off like this deserves it, so you can tell them, okay, they're Brucey boy. That is all one sentence, and I had to read it like five times to understand it. I, 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 like, I wanted to correct it. In fact, let's go back to where he calls me little baby Brucey. There I am, little baby Brucey. And you tell them that I told you to tell them that I'm going to make an example of your ass. And it will be my pleasure to do so because you deserve it. Now I have to read it in proper vocabulary as best I can because I couldn't understand the run-on sentence. <sighs> and anytime somebody rips somebody off like this, deserves it. So you tell them that, okay, they're Brucey boy. $10. $10 that he could have got back if he was nice. Okay, we finally get a new sentence. That sentence went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lines. Seven lines for one sentence. Because at this point, I could care effing less. L-O-L. -L. Apparently, you care, dude, because you're having a... You're blowing a gasket writing these emails to me. You've proven to be true scum, and you're going to be treated as such. I have your address. There we go again. And then I'll have your ass. And good luck in proving I did it, by the way, as that's going to be a little problem, too. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Y'all know what my first degree was in college? Management Information Systems. I graduated top of my class. Um, I can trace an IP like nobody's business. I'd done some shady shit in the past, a little hacking. Um, it's not hard to trace somebody. It really isn't. It's not hard to collect evidence digitally, especially when they're this, stu this stupid. Yeah, I don't know my right from the left. But, um... It just, this is funny to me. You know who would get a kick out of this is Michael French. Because he gets this kind of crap all the time. I don't know if he's had this much of an asshole. I think I might have him beat this time. I just, I'm not like Michael French though. I don't have the witty retorts. And, you know, I do have a decent vocabulary. Michael French has me beat on that. I'll give him that. And Michael, if you're watching, nothing but respect for you, brother. But, uh, yeah, this, this is the kind of crap. This is the first time this ever happened to me. That's why my mind is just blown. 
it's just blown. Because I'm a nice guy. I'm an easygoing guy. Like I said, I've had customers before that um, have had problems with things I sold them. You know, and I always try to make it right because I'm not out to rip anybody off. Um, you know, if you look through the, the feedback in my eBay, you see, like, I try to make everybody happy. I have had problems in the past. But no one has ever talked to me like this. Uh, and not, and especially not to my face because they'd end up in the hospital. So this just cracks me up. This guy must be so miserable in life to go to all this effort over $10. And you might be sitting there thinking, oh, well, Bruce, you're just as bad. You're making a video about it. I'm making this video to let other eBayers, sellers, and other people that sell in general, other people, YouTubers, whoever, to get these retards on here and just want to cause trouble there's no reason for this the guy had a problem with what i sold him all he had to do is send me a nice email hey bruce yeah this is messed up what can we do about it it would have been done and over with he would have had his money back or a new part i wouldn't even argue with him i mean like, i would have apologized i'm not apologizing this time plus whenever he said about the back being hollow it's supposed to be remember what it came down to is he broke it he admitted he broke it himself I still don't care. I still would have given him his money back. I would have given him a new part. I don't care. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I can find out my couch cushions. Most of us right now have ten dollars. If we mess up, we can fix it. Here, you need ten dollars? Here, ten dollars. Except for the Loch Ness Monster. He only wants three fifty. All right. So that was the one I got today. The first one I got today. And yeah, I'm sorry. We're not done yet. It gets worse. So anyway, I read that one, and uh, this was today, right? Let's see, I'm losing myself. Yeah, May 7th at w 2, 2, 12, 30, 1239, 1239. That was the first one. I seen that, and I'm like, okay. You know, and that was in response to me telling him that I was going to, uh, where are we? May 7th, 16th, that's not it. Oh, now I got it messed up. Do, 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 do. Don't read these yet. I'm not there. Okay. Yeah, May 7th, uh, 1239. That's the one we just did. Next email I get at uh, 252. Now, the one I just read was 1239, because I'm, I'm still doing the math with the Pacific Standard Time thing here. So it was 1239 was the one I just read to you. The very next one, 1252. So now this wasn't even 20 minutes later, and I hadn't responded to the first one. Um, this was him responding to when I told him after he threatened my family and my house that I had reported him to eBay. Now, I don't even understand this one, but I'm going to read it anyway. But this is his response to me saying, you want to threaten my house, I've reported you to eBay, this is nonsense or something like that. And believe me, I went out of my way not to be offensive to the guy. Sorry, yes, I'm drinking on camera. Uh, my nerves are up. Okay, so like I said, this is after I told him, uh, you know what, I need a break and I'm going to have a cigarette and then we'll do, we'll continue. Uh, you won't know the difference. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I get a little uptight, so. Sorry, I'm going to smoke and drink a beer on camera. You'll get over it. I've seen worse done. So, yeah, so I, I had told him that I um, reported him to eBay because I wanted him to stop because he kept sending me. Oh, yeah, my phone keeps ringing all day as someone hanging up. I don't know if it's him or not. I'm not saying it is, but no one ever calls me. I never got, I don't even get telemarketers, so I'm kind of thinking it might be him, but I can't prove that. So we're just, I'm just going to mention it and move on. But I told him, I said, um, I reported him to eBay for threatening me and just be, basically being a little baby. And I told him, I said, if you had been nice, we could have handled this right away. But he wasn't, as you can see. So his response, oh no, not, oh no, oh no, not that, no. I'm so scared, ha ha. Anything but the Briar Patch Tar Baby. Briar Patch Tar Baby. What the fuck does that mean? I know what Briar Patch is, Peter Rabbit and the Briar Patch. I, I don't even see how it applies here, but I know that. But isn't Tar Baby some kind of racist comment? I, I don't get that one. 
not the briar patch. Let me tell you something, you got a little loser. I just, all one sentence again, I, I can't even read it in just one sentence. That's how much it gives me a migraine. Let me tell you something, you little loser. I just spoke with Upper Echelon Management at eBay, and I've reported you fully, and they will be giving me all my money back, and you will be giving it back because they're making you before you did rip me off because, well, you actually did, and you're going to also additionally be getting negative feedback from... I can't, I can't even read this. And I'm not that smart. I mean, vocabulary is a hobby of mine, but damn. Let's try to read this like, I'll try to translate into like normal English as best I can. All right. Let me tell you something, you little loser. I just, I just spoken. I just spoken. I have just spoken or I've just spoken. I'm going to try not to do that because I have a point to make. And this, is, this video is going on long enough. But and there's still more. That's the bad thing about it. So I hope, I hope you're still here listening. And I really want to see you people's comments somewhere. I just had to get that. I'm doing this just for me. I just had to get this off my chest. And I want your opinions. I really do. But this is insane. Let's try this again. Let me tell you something, you little loser. I just spoken with Upper Echelon, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, I admit it, Echelon Management at eBay, and I've reported you fully, and they will be giving me all of my money back, $10, and you will be giving it back because they're making you, for you did rip me off, $10, and I didn't rip anybody off. Because, well, you actually did, and you're going to also additionally be getting negative feedback from me too, and I can promise you beyond a shadow of a doubt, and eBay has assured me that you will be keeping that feedback forever, or you can be removed from eBay for good for breaking eBay sellers' fraud and theft by deception direct policies. So it's your choice, but you don't rip people off. You don't call the shots here, and you don't just whatever you want because you're Bruce Jennings. Okay, there, buddy. I don't do what I want. I don't rip people off. My products are what they say they are. They're not perfect. And I say that. They're not meant to be perfect because if I do make them perfect, then someone's going to sell them as an original. But this particular piece, there was nothing wrong with it. He said in the first letter, he broke it himself. Still would have worked with him. Remember that. And can you believe that? Can, can you believe that sentence? It's not even a sentence. It's just like, I don't like the alphabet just puked on the page. Okay, haha, -ha. you're doing nothing, and even if you could do something to me, you're still never doing shit. LOL, yeah, com, comprendas me el dick lick. This is making me think that he's actually not the guy that I researched from NASA. I really don't think somebody from NASA who has like an upscale job would talk like this, which is why I haven't screenshotted all these and sent them to all his co-workers because all those email addresses are public knowledge. It's, there's a website that has this person's name from Cincinnati and the, it, I'm not putting the name up as of yet because I don't know the legal issues on that and I ain't trying to get in trouble that way. I got enough fucking problems. But I did research it and I and many sources saying that this person's name and it there can't be another one in the United States because this is a long ass name. That's why I said we're just going to call him Thurston Howell the third. When I researched Thurston Howell the third. Uh, uh, numerous things took me right back to Cincinnati's uh, base of NASA. Same department, same person. No pictures, though. I did go to an Instagram who has a guy looking like a douchebag claiming to have the name. Guy looks like he needs to in his 20s or something. And I'm, uh, this is the only reason I have not screenshotted this and sent it to this guy's employees. Because if I'm wrong, then I'm fucked. Or I'm going to make somebody look really bad that doesn't even deserve it. Plus, the name that he signed the very first one with, Thurston Howell III, doesn't match the, any, the username uh, who I sold this to in the first place. So that's another reason I'm not doing I'm going to do a little more research on that. Probably find out this person isn't that person. It's just that's going to cause a whole more problem. A little more research on that, and I, I might. I have to go by IPs, I guess. So that's that. Yeah, and... Um, Comp, you comprehend me el dick lick. 
I don't speak Spanish, but I don't really think that's Spanish. And I like how he, like, every time he swears, he tries to throw a different character in there. It just, you got something to fucking say, fucking say it. Ten dollars. Remember, ten dollars. All right, what do we have next? Now, this was, like I said, this was uh, today at 12.52. It was the second email I got. Now, at this point, what I did is, because um, I had electronically filed a report on eBay, after I read this little bit of poetic uh, beauty, I actually got the number to call eBay, and I called eBay, and I actually got through. Well, no, they give me the thing. I, um, I had to go online for, for the help, and uh, there was a, a thing on there. You can have a live chat, or you can have somebody call you. I clicked on have somebody call me. And this very nice girl called me. Um, she had a very thick accent, but she was really sweet. And I told her what was going on. She read all these emails, and she she just couldn't believe it. I'm like, well, they're right there. Obviously, I didn't make them. And she didn't read screenshots. She read the actual emails. And um, I told her about how I had electronically reported it, but this is serious, and the guy's still bugging me. Um, it, you know, this shit sets off my anxiety. Nobody, No one deserves to get this kind of crap over $10. She was very helpful. She was very helpful. And we're going to see. It's not resolved yet. We're going to see. She asked me, she says, well, you know, why why don't you just do the refund? I said, I was going to. I said, if she, he would have just been nice the very first note and just said, hey, I got a problem. I'd been like, what's up? What can, what can we do? And I would have fixed it. Everybody that knows me knows I'm like that. I am, you know, not confrontational until you set off my temper. But all this stuff would piss anybody off. And she agreed with me. She's like, yeah, there's this person, does, you know, there's something wrong with this person. And I said, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But anyway, she was really great about it. And right now we're in the process of dealing with it, which is another reason I covered up the names. Um, I, I, I am probably going to do a follow-up on this if anybody's paying attention just so I can uh, show you guys what happened. I'm still not done with the emails yet, though. While I was on the phone with her, my... Uh, eBay kept going off, and I didn't check it because I was talking to her. Like I said, this is 12.52 today, Easter Standard Time. What you're looking there is Pacific Standard Time. And the reason I keep reporting that is because, or telling you guys that is because I'm sure there's someone just skipping through the video to get to meet. So this is actually 12.52 today. The second message I got, 20 minutes later after the first one. So, and this is also number six. Next email. Uh, okay, this is today at uh, 16.03 military time, Pacific Standard Time, so 16 minus 3. This would have been at 3.03, which is when I was on the phone with the lady from eBay. And uh, let's bring this up, and I'll read it to you, and we'll go over it. Oh, that's, I keep hitting the wrong slider button for the zoom. There we go. There we go, May 7th, 20. 21, 16 or 3, Pacific Standard Time, so, you know, 3 or 3 today, when I was on the phone with the lady, I had actually sent, uh, this is in response to whenever I told him, I said, first of all, you told me I had 24 hours, and uh, another reply to it, which I believe he replied to this in that other email, too. No, that was days ago, so wrong again, Bruce. And if you were wanting to work something out with me, that should have happened days ago, too. He sent the message May 5th at 7.30, my time. I got it when I got home at 11 o'clock that night. Uh, I was going to wait till the next morning because, remember, he gave me 24 hours. And then at 2.13, 2.15 in the morning that same night, he decided to threaten my family. So, no, I don't want to talk to you. $10. Okay. LOL. You're not very good with the elementary keeping of chronological time, are you, Bruce? Did you see the dates and times of the emails when they were received? I don't think I have that problem. You do, brother. As far as being nice goes, it's pretty clear what your intentions were to being nice or not based upon what you sent to me so with that being said, and the gist of that tone, it's nothing but hostile and nasty at best. I didn't send anything hostile or nasty. I didn't send anything, because if I would have sent anything, it would have been hostile and nasty, especially whenever you threaten my, my family. 
It's your funeral, Bruce, not mine. This will affect me absolutely none, but it's going to definitely be felt by you. $10. If you want to be a jerk. Now, he's talking to me like I wrote his fucking emails. If you want to be a jerk and rip me off and think you're going to steal my money and continue to be a jerk at the same time still, I guarantee that you're not going to learn very differently here and how the word sorry is going to come into play for you and truly define the overall state of all of this for you ultimately. I don't owe anybody an apology. I didn't start this. I am able to finish it. I just, I don't get how delusional this guy is. Uh, man, I should, you know, I should bring up, and if this will let me, maybe I will. I should bring up my actual replies because I wasn't, I was on purposely not threatening in any way, shape, or form. Um, like, I, I think the worst thing I said to him is like, if you would have been polite in the first letter, I would have answered and we could have worked something out. Uh, I know I didn't say anything bad to the guy because obviously he's a psycho and belongs in a rubber, rubber room somewhere. You know what, at this point, I don't even know if it was a guy, because the username is actually a female name, but it's one of those names that can be female or male, but either way, the guy's fucking crazy. And like I said, this was today at 16 minus 3 again, it's 3.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, okay, that's the last email that I have taken screenshots of. Oh there, was, oh, there was one more, and you know what, it went off again, and I didn't even bother. But, um, yeah, so, like I said, and this one came in while I was on the phone with the, uh, the nice lady from eBay. I, I thought there was one more. I don't think I transferred it to the computer correctly. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut this right now. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to find my replies just so, just so I can make sure they're on record here so you can see the replies I sent to. And I'll be right back. Okay, I want to read these replies to you. I'm not going to put them on a the screen because I haven't had a chance to edit and block out this asshole's name. Uh, this morning, the very first reply I sent to him is where it was a response to his very first email. And his first email started out, okay, now where to start? And bear in mind, I'm trying to put this as nicely as possible. That was the very first email I showed you. I responded. Twenty and it I responded at uh what time did I send this? Since May 6th, uh, yeah, May 6th, that's yesterday. Uh 2021, 1607, minus three hours, 1307. And now I'm confused. 13, 14, uh that's 107. I sent this email and it reads word for word. I'm not gonna put it on the screen because it has his name and I haven't made a screenshot of it yet. 24 hours. Hmm. If you would have been a little more nicer about this, we could have worked it out. As it stands, I just read the messages, the others, and your return request earlier this afternoon. Anyway, here's your reply within 24 hours. Not threatening in any way, shape, or form. I did it on purpose because I had already talked, to, I had already filed for the second email as abuse. Threatening, whatever you want to call it. And the funny thing is, I'm not even thick skinned. You know, I'm, I'm really not. I'm not afraid of anybody. You really want to come to the house, come, see what you got. But, you know, just to have that anxiety on me and everything like that, you know. So that was my first reply to his first and second letter. Second reply, I replied to a different thing. He said, oh, he asked me, uh, the, the second email where he said, ignoring me, LOL, really, blah, 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 blah. I, reply, I responded, uh, once again, 24 hours, question mark. This message is threatening and will be reported to eBay. Screenshots kept, which I just showed them to you. And that's all I said. Okay, last email that I had re responded to, which I don't even know why I bothered, but there was a third one I responded that today, or yesterday, at 1610, which 310. So I did these all three in a row because he kept sending them to me. Uh... Oh, after he filed the uh, uh, return request, he uh, sent me a message saying, and now he'd be giving my money back in full, Bruce, told you, da, 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 blah, blah. My God, you're that stupid, aren't you? Don't call me stupid, because I'm not stupid. I responded, well, I'm definitely not stupid, because I'm not. 
But then again, I'm not a rocket scientist. That was in. That was me testing to see if this was the actual guy or somebody, you know, trying to pretend to be the guy. Because I, I, you know, more I think about it, even sitting right here, I think it might be somebody just using a different identity. I don't know. Well, well, I said we'll do it your way. eBay can enforce its rules. So can the state police with your threats, because I did call the state police just to get it on record. It's the only communications I have with the guy, because I'm I'm not going to deal with people like this. He's going to get his refund. I, it's not even about that. It's ten fucking dollars. But you're going to dick me around. You're going to wait for it. I have till May 11th to approve the refund, and I'm going to. He also has to ship it back to me, which I'll bet you a dollar he cries about it. And my wife says, "Well, why don't you just block him?" I'm like, "No, because." He threatened me. I'm not going to block him because I want more evidence. So the, the way eBay goes is now I'm going to have to approve the return. I have to pay for a shipping envelope or a shipping uh, label to send to him. Then he has to pack up the broken piece and send it back to me. And then and only then does he get his refund. Um, if it was anybody else, if he was nice to me, I'd have just given him a refund and say, well, if you can super glue it together and use it, good. It's yours. If not, throw it in the garbage. Here's your money back. Sorry. That's how I normally do it. In the past four years, that's how I've always done it. But my point is, yes, I'm on a rant tonight. Y'all don't normally see me like this. I'm usually doing something funny or I'm explaining something, but I'm pissed off. And I want, I don't care if you care if I'm pissed off or not. I want people to understand they call it Evil Bay and they blame the sellers. It's not the sellers. Sometimes it is. I'm not one of those sellers. I never have been one of those sellers. I'm always willing to work with people to make them happy. This idiot, this crazy person, is doing this crap over ten dollars now I sell stuff on my eBay page that is worth over three hundred dollars I do a replica of the Palo toy Death Star uh, that's I think it's it, I can't remember if it's 250 or three hundred dollars I don't know but every time I do it I pour my heart into it, it takes me four days to make I have sold dozens of them in the past couple years I've had two complaints both people gave their money back no problem I'm not mad about it it wasn't what they were looking for they weren't happy with it. Okay. 250 bucks is worth getting angry over. I don't blame them. They didn't get what they wanted. They, they thought it was going to be on the actual board. I make it on foam board. That was the only difference. Uh, another person had a hard time putting it together. He couldn't understand the instructions and ended up breaking it. He got frustrated and didn't want it. I'm like, all right, well, we'll just do the return. And we did. And he was happy. He was perfectly fine. He approached me nicely. You know, he, he, he knew he broke it. He was actually surprised I gave him a refund. But I'm not that guy. I'm not here to take advantage of people. But everybody says about eBay, and there are bad sellers on eBay too. You got the scalpers, you got the people that are asking way too much for money. They got the people that are actually ripping people off for like real money. I've never done that. And I've got plenty of backup behind me from all over the world from people I've sold to that love my stuff. Um, I have had returns in the past. I'm not perfect. And anybody's going to get, you know, a customer here and there that's not happy, and you got to do your best to make them happy. But the customers don't need to be sending me stuff like this. I would never do that to somebody. I bought stuff off the... I bought... Let me show you something. I just bought this on eBay about two weeks ago. And this is the Hallmark Keepsake Ornament, the Storyteller Ornament. Um, I was missing two. I was missing the Death Star, and I was missing uh, the Millennium Falcon. A Millennium Falcon for this series is like $400. I paid $80 for this on eBay from a guy. He sent it to me. Um, it doesn't work. Um, and I just I just sent him a nice email saying, dude, I said, yeah, I hate to be that guy, but I got this and it doesn't work. He immediately gave me a refund. I'm like, well, just send me a refund. You can have it back. You know, I wanted to send it back to him. No, he didn't want, he didn't want it back. He says, just gave him 80 bucks back and no questions asked. And that was really cool, but now... I have this. It doesn't work. I'm not going to resell it because I already got my money back for it. It wouldn't be the right thing to do. Um, I appreciate him giving good customer service. But, you know, I would have rather sent it back to him and then he could, I don't know, maybe he could fix it or something. I can't fix it. I mean, I know I'm a toy guy, but there's no way to tear this apart. But I wasn't being a jerk. And to be honest with you, I kind of felt bad about taking the $80 back from him and keeping this. So this is just going to sit around as a reminder uh, there are good sellers out there. Um, I I don't know what else to do with it. I mean, I'm not angry at the guy. I mean, he made it right. He made it more than right. Now I have it. You know, if I just want to hang it somewhere or maybe custom paint it, but I, I feel like I feel like I'm the bad guy in that one. But and like I said, I've had things that are defective. 
I've had the postman smash stuff that got delivered to other people's house. And they call it blaming me. It's like, well, well, first of all, look, you know, I'm sorry that happened to you, but, you know, I can't control the post office. Uh, give them a refund, send them a new one. One guy across the country, I made a background for a play set. First time I got there, it was obvious the post office literally folded it in half and messed it all up, even though I wrote do not bend on it. And, uh, you know, he was pissed, but he was still polite with me. And so he even said, he's like, I know it's not, I know it's not your fault, but they bent it in half, even though I wrote do not bend all over it. And I'm, okay, okay, and dude, no problem. I says, here, let me just send you another one. And so I did. I sent, I sent him another one free of charge, no problem. He got that. It was bent too. But it wasn't bent to the point where it upset him. He's like, I'm just going to keep this. And he was—he ended up being happy because I took care of the guy. You know, I'm not responsible for the post office, but what's right is right. The guy pays me X amount of dollars for a product. I want him to get a good product. And I'm going to try to make sure that they're happy within reason. Um, the same package, uh, by chance, um, got sent to Usual Mike over in Australia. He has a YouTube channel, too. He does a lot of, a lot of toys. Hell of a guy, too. I just played trivia with him the other night online um he got the same exact product said do do not bend all over he laughed at it when he opened it <laughs> I, I don't think he believed it made it that far without getting bent up he uses it on his uh oh what it is it's it's well this isn't really a star wars discussion but he uses it on one of his toys that he needed a background for that someone else had given him but uh, yeah made it the whole way to australia no problem so you know most people are satisfied sometimes this happens but anyway, I'm going to end this video now because I've been ranting and ranting. And I would have made it a live video, but no one ever joins my live videos. And I can't do a live video on YouTube until I get 1,000 subscribers. So I'm not even sure where I'm going to put this video. It might be on Facebook. It might be on YouTube. Uh, hell, it might end up in the, in the trash can on my computer. I just want to make people aware that this kind of stuff happens to the best people out there. Not that I'm the best person, but these crazy people, this is why they call it Evil Bay. You know, buyers are always like Evil Bay because people mark up stuff. And you're right. You're entirely right. The scalpers on eBay, people wanting ridiculous prices. But there are good people out there like myself that charge a fair price. And if you look in my store, Jenner Custom Toys, and that's the first time I've mentioned it. Jenner Custom Toys, all one word. If you look in my list and what I have to offer and what I make, I believe my prices are very fair. My action figures are $20 and under. Um... My pieces, parts, they go by with what I have to put into them. And the other things I put on there, I always try to be reasonable. Always have. I've been doing this for four years. It's really taken off over the past two years. So that's what I want to say tonight. I, if you're still here, which I wouldn't blame me if you weren't seeing me all pissed off, check out my happier videos. Check out my Carl videos. Check out something, whatever. I mean, I don't get paid for any of this. It's... Uh, but you know the, the videos I put on YouTube, I'm kind of weird about it. It's you know I, I do funny stuff. I do instructional videos. Um, it's all fun for me. And uh, I, when someone does something like these emails and this guy I'm dealing with right now, it's not fun for me, and I get upset. So there, just it is what it is. And uh, guys, just be good to each other on the internet. And uh, I'm done. I'll, I'll do a follow up. Let y'all know what happens out of this. Hopefully it won't be this long because I have no idea how long this one ran. I don't even know if anybody's going to watch it. But y'all have a good night and thanks for listening to me. Leave some comments. Give me a like. You know, whatever whatever you feel like doing, man. And if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Good night.